Welcome to Mark Javate Puerto and Social Forum. Mark Javate is in Kampli, Nima County. Honorable Vakaba Kuruman, he is the chairman of the Madingo Association in Kampli, Nima County. Good evening, Honorable Vakaba Kuruman. Good evening, Mark Javate. Yeah, I'm in your hometown today. Yeah, for the point of corrections, I am Honorable Bagawa Kromasia, a chairman of the Nima County Madigo Association, Nikuma in short, and also as a spokesman of the Muslim conjugation in Belege Statute District, respectively. Yeah, welcome back to Kampli, welcome back to Nima. And welcome back to Belly Girls Territory District. As you are well, more than one year hence, I made a current call through the ever leadership of Pidasco E. Kuyate, the chairman of the Muslim conjugation in Belly Girls Territory District, who stand on my extreme life to speak to the Muslim conjugation worldwide. For soliciting view and association and assistance with due respect to the unfeeling mall at the rear, which have been long overdue, there is a scene current call but we are making through the ever leadership of Basiki Conan in the diaspora known as the United States of America, who through his indirectly or connections for the interest of his people to see Nima country to be in coexisting once again, we extend it in many things and appreciation to hear a compatriot for taking the lead, mainly the Muslim, especially the Madingo, for us to be in a recognizable conditions of the entire citizen race in Nimba and in Liberia in general. In this light, not only Basiki one alone, this current call through my able leadership of my no noble chairman to whom instrumentality we have been in a revamp to see this our unfinished boss to be finally concreted while the Muslim conjugation wants to the Muslim conjugations not only Madingo but comprised of Madingo Gio manner and etc etc to have means and wisdom in order to have the final prayer in this our unfinished mass in this light with due respect to the recognitions of the Nimba County Madingo Association Nikoma in short I took the last time on the Grand Continent Radio in Philadelphia so let's see the needs and assistance for our people in the dance powers. For them to come to the assisting of the association because St. Nima County came to be on July the 24th, 1964, the Madingo in Nima has never formed an association in order for them to be speak through that association for the demands of the constitutional rights as a citizen of the Republic of Liberia, and Nikuma had become the first. So I will also let out, not only to Basiki, but also to Shaka Keta, to Bali Keta, to uh, Fuma, Fuma, to our sister, Goma Kene, 
and the other sisters from the district to rally around to make ends meet in order for this our wonderful mosque. This mosque commenced way back 1986, prior to the war. Now you look in the other area, like Ganta, like Sakapie, Baden, etc., etc., which I was more commenced for the initial stage, no one who has finished because of the good way gestures of our Muslim brothers and sisters in the diaspora and around the world. In this light, we will now rest rest assured we will continue to rest assured to make a clarion call to our compatriots to our liberators to our, our Muslim scholars to come to the assisting of the Muslim brothers and sisters in Benegas territory especially in Kampi City not only the mosque but the Arabic and English institutions that were in existing Prior to the war, all have been diminished. And Venegard, with the understanding that uh, our sons and daughters, that you to be educated through the Islamic way, through the English standard, through that institution, we are appealing to the national government to give us subsidy also. So we can commence this erection of our Arabic an English institution concomitantly in finishing the mosque. Did, Thank you, you, very did much. you send communication to the Muslim Council? Oh, well, you asking this question. Yeah, ma'am. Chairman standing on my screen left. There are delegates from the Muslim Council. They've been visiting us here and we brought them to this mosque. Show our plight. They say they will answer. They will answer. We will look, we will look upon the Allah. For Allah to come out in their minds. To make their dream a reality. Okay, let me listen to Mr. Kuyate. Yeah, thank you very much, and I uh, welcome you very uh, sovereignly today. Coming to Kampli, even though I was not here, when I heard that you are in town and I came, uh, what I will say here, I don't think I can say much now because this is my uh, principal spokesman. Whenever you say something, I don't have to say beyond that. Uh, I'm happy today to see you here. I need to bring this kind of, uh, let's say, happening in our home, in my capacity as a chairman, and capacity as a citizen of the district. Really, I don't want to say much. Because saying much, we have said much. We have said plenty, plenty, plenty in this district. Many people being with all here, we see, and they, they try to, let's say, exercise and exhibit their quota in this, let's say, situation. But everything comes to a failure. Did you but write the Grand Mufti of the Republic of Liberia, Sheikh Abu Bakr Smolo? No, we have pending letter for the, uh, let's say, the, the Mufti. The letter has not reached the Mufti. I have the letter on my desk. Well, why do you think and uh, it has taken so long to rebuild this, uh, to revamp this mosque? Yeah, because of financial issue. When we came here, we want to establish our life. We try to find a place where we will live, you know, and find food for the children to have good health condition. Well, that was problem. You see, in that scenario, we were not able, at least, to put things together to finish this must. Well, why do you think the Muslim community is so weak? Yeah, because uh, there is no assistance, and really every, everybody is trying to get their own thing. So for this time, we want the Muslim community to come together, at least to help us to finish this must. Our brothers, the able brothers we have, to help us to finish this mosque. That's the only mind we have for this mosque. How many Muslims are we talking about in complete? Oh, we are uh, roughly going to 1,000 plus. 1,000. Hio, Maningo, Pele. In fact, the, the district uh, imam of the district is a Gio man, Imam Motu, in a Bento Mecca, in a Wele man. Only the, the, the assistant is a, a Madingo man. And the Gio man I'm talking about, he doesn't even speak Madingo. So what appeal do you have today? Any appeal I have to the community, to everybody, to uh, NGO, to the government, international community, at least to come to our aid for this month. 
this is what we want. Okay, and Honorable Vakaba Kuruma, yeah. you are one of the eloquent adults in Nima County. Yeah. I want you to take me around the mosque so our people can see. That is very pleasant and beautiful. I will do through with the excursion of my chairman, we will show you the frame of the mosque and we will take the frame and show it to those our Muslim brothers and sisters for their assistance. So you are welcome to walk along with me. You're welcome. Do you get come? As you can see in here, there is the, the low area where the prayer will be conducted. The monsters and time for calling the prayer, the chains are all there. You know, the building is the morning marks. When it has been erected, it will be one of the beautiful marks in Liberia that our people will look at because this mosque. The late Daniel Tipote was the one that erected this mosque, but because of the wall intersections, caused the construction to halt. And now we are making our position better to all the Muslims around the global war in order to see reason to prevail and come to the assistance in completing this mosque with the noble understanding of the Muslim faith as a way God directs you do something for his house, his mighty house, you will be rewarded here and you will be rewarded in paradise. You want to watch us? Yeah. Oh, uh, you see this building the erection were done by Kuwait government from 86, 87, 88. And uh, when the war came, everything stopped. But when you see up here, the linter that passed over there, it was done by Kample Muslim Union. Kample Muslim Union, those that live in the United States, that's it, that's right. Those that live in Morovia and uh, Kample and the satellite towns, the Muslim went together and contributed and do this linter. Everybody came from all over, they came to put a leader. The leader was not done by the government. Uh, uh, roughly three to four thousand dollars we use for the leader. So we are looking for help now to end this must. So, uh, uh, spokesman, yeah, I just want to buttress. Yeah, honorable spokesman, and uh, tell us about the reconciliation process in Campley. Oh, okay. Well, the aspect of the religious issue has been laid to rise. Yeah, we'll get to politics. Then we'll get to politics. And we are talking about the reconciliation in the whole Republic of Liberia. <laughs> Commence from this yeah, territory okay. district, called Berigay territory okay. district. Meaning, the three tribes in this district, they are in coexistent. When there is a need for development, when meetings are being called, the three tribes attend it to the fullest and they give their input in the development of the area, regardless of what, regardless of tribe, regardless of tribe affiliation, and regardless of political differences. We all are one in this territory district. Every issue that will affect the district, it affects the three tribes, and we can all go together to have seen to be cemented and eradicated out in order for it to be vanished for good. And we come with one understanding, one pretty present, and one cordiality. These people, the people in this district, the Matingo, the Mano, and the Gio, they are in coexisting when it comes in terms of uh, reconciliation. Now, let us look at the land disputes. Okay, I think the last time you may mention that uh, we have a desktop security forum. Every Monday, we go to Gapley. When there is this land dispute, 
the committee held by the staff of the superintendent as this year, four committee, they will go and resolve that matter on the land, land dispute and offer court interventions. And everything concomitantly can be learned to and can come with one understanding. So are you simply trying to say things are okay? No, ma. Things are okay. These are not bandaged from this end, but I don't talk about the other part of NIMBA, but the part in Belgium starts to the district, the leadership, they are really doing extremely, extremely So it means well. that Madingos are moving freely in complete. Freely, even if they're on the street, no pain will touch you in one way or the other. And when someone is offended, the girl are offended the same. The man are offended the scene. The Madingo are offended the scene. We all go together to take that ill heart from those who offend us because we are law abiding citizens. And what is the message to those who are residing in Moravia in the very refugee camp do not want to return home? <laughs> How many times I will give these predictions the answer? I have done it on several, several occasions that those who stay in refugees life because of poverty, hey my brother, it's hard to talk, because of poverty, because of the area, the, the area in which they are living, the atmospheric condition is holding them fine and that the war is not good. What make you, you neglect your own homes? And when you associate them with the other society members in collaboration with the culture and tradition and, and religion affair, one way or the other, then you get used to the area. Africa, West Africa, and for all West African citizens. And uh, let us assume that President Weah is watching you. What message do you have for President Weah? <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I think now, uh, what I'm saying here, the message, the president can look at me keenly on the Facebook. What I will lament to the president of the Republic of Liberia, when he took office during the day of his inauguration, he said, this government, this government is a government of inclusion. Just hold on right there. And mom says, hey, then uh, you live in America. You told me to come to come play. And I'm in your hometown, come play Nima Kande. He is mom says, hey. And you said that you're going to, you're going to organize a conference where you guys are going to generate form to revamp or build this company must. I hope you are watching me. And I will be glad to hear from you. Please continue on with Akaba Kuruma. Yes, to the government. To the government, his administration will introduce the government of inclusion. That was a very brilliant speech delivered by him. And that's the one all the viewers are I are. Because the government of national unity is a government that has been built on democratic principle. A democratic principle means by the people, for the people, and of the people. That's the message I have for the president. Reconciliation is very much timely indeed to have it accepted in the administration of his government. But when you look at the county authority and Madingo, they have no position. Yeah, that's the reason why Nikuma is fighting for. But why not you use the time to appeal to President Josh Weir? That's the reason why I'm talking this for. That's the reason why I'm talking this for. Because in the county administrations, um, it's very disheartening to know. We have five tribes in Nema. Namely, we have Madigo, we have Kra, we have B, we have Mano, and we have you. During the existence, our people were in coexisting together, administering the affairs of this district, administering the affairs of the county, 
I will need just a few examples. Prior to the war, at the National Legislature, Madingo Man was there as representative, representing Tabitha District. At the same National Legislature, Madingo Man was in the house as representative, representing Zo Guest out to the district. Then when I come on the lines of local administrations, we have Bamara Jabate as Commissioner of Benga. Then Soko as magistrate and the Lecture of Makona as Associate Magistrate and Santo Jikepa. Okay? Our whole talking, my late father, the late Alaji Fatima Seku Kroma, was the first Madino governor in Nimba. And those administrations were in coexisting. When the leadership of the nation is coming to Nimba, all the fire tribe leaderships will be on board. Because we're talking about government of inclusion, democratically, by the people, for the people, and of the people. These are the matters in which we are introducing to the new government. But Madingos are not part of the administrative and, uh, and position. Madingos, you look at it today, after the war, the war is wrong. It damaged the culture. After the war, the three tribes were neglected. Who are the three tribes? Madingo, Kran, and Biyandoru. And they don't take part in the county administrations. And whereas they have master degree holders among them, their parents send them to school, to be the leader of their people tomorrow, to develop their area of origin. But why today the only two ethnic groups are taking the lead in the county administration? That is why we're making a clear call to the national government. Let this government be a government of national unity. Let the, few, the far tribes in, the, in Nimba County be inclusive in the county administration. We have the, the conference called by Yuniko in Sanico. And this conference, there was a crowd of our people. We have the conference in Sagafi. This conference has a crowd for our people, for the inclusion of the county administration within the. Not marginalizations, not nepotism, not ethnicity, but we are dealing with what? With punctuality. We are dealing with a sense of direction. We are dealing to govern our people according to the governance in the proper perspective. Honorable Kruma. Yeah. You sound frustrated. I'm not frustrated. Disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm, I'm using persuasive method to get to the national government to see reason to prevail. Action is, is louder than words. Implementation brings success, brings progress, brings development. I'm not frustrated. I'm not annoyed. But I, I'm making the all men have their own styles and ways of approaching things. You see me, Syria? I see with good conscience of our people. Not only Madiro one alone, the fire travel, I just made a Thank you very much. Honorable Fakaba Kuruma, yeah. did you? Inform the National Madingo Caucus. <laughs> the National Madingo Caucus of Liberia have begun a fail of us. Hmm. I will stand it now, the chairman of the Nima County Madingo Association. During the Ellen Lair government, I will recommend that by the National Madingo Association of Liberia, Caucus of Liberia to take the position of the county inspector of the, our respective county called Nima. But those who make the recommendation, if no follow-up is made at the end of the turn, then the issue will be to the deadlock. So I don't want classifying the National Manigo Caucus or Liberia that the profit lost to us. Mr. Kruma? Yeah. So you are simply accusing the Madingo caucus that they have done nothing for the Madingo community. I'm saying a fact, not accusation. 
I'm saying a fact. What has been real done? That's the one I'm saying. It. The attestation can be learned from the people in Moldova. I'm saying a fact. I'm not accusing them. I'm saying a fact. Look at Seku Kole. Seku Kole met me in Moldova, and that time they were collecting funds for scholarship for the Muslim student who will be awarded to go to the University of Liberia. I was in that program. When he, was, when he saw me, he embraced me. He recognized me as a renowned Madigo figures who interest for his people is so desirable. He promised. He said, I will, I will do something to get to President, uh, uh, to President Salih so he can look at how I live. Marry you. He can be in, in her government. He was talking there. He was the equipment chairman of the National Mandigo Caucus of Liberia. Then he went to war and neglected his promise and just dashed the issue in the Vatican. Let us then, do we have any party comment concerning the mosque? Well, the party comment, I didn't no need to waste your time. The chairman has elaborated how things were what was done, how the Muslim brothers and sisters in that district uh, contributed immensely. You see, as you can see the frame, uh, this was not done by the Kuwait government, but it was done by our, our very self for encouragement to come in order to our Muslim brothers and sisters, they can see reason to prevail us and come to the aid in order to complete the erection of this mosque. Yeah. You want me to talk the whole day? I will continue to talk the whole day because that's my level of specialty. You see, I will talk for the interest of our people. My people and librarian people, we are once again in that district announcing again that this district called Belegan Star Trek District is a credo for national peace and reconciliation. It's a credo for national reunification. It's a credo for national reintegration that brought peace into that beautiful land of I, I hold you right there, Honorable Vakawa Kroman, and uh, you did listen to Honorable Vakawa Kroman, and he, he lamented that Madingos are moving further in complete Nima County that there is no harassment, there is no intimidation, but their disappointment is the National Madinga Caucus. They have done nothing to help the Madinga community. The Muslim Council, this mosque was built in 1986, more than 25 years. The Muslims, they are not been able to revamp this mosque. And there is an SOS call, and it is not about me, it is not about Vakaba Kruma. It is not about Mr. Kuyate. All is about Islam. The Almighty Allah. And on Vakaba Kruma, please announce your number so they can be able to call you. I don't want you to call me. Don't call me to say, give me on Vakaba Kruma number. No. My duty is, is to come to carry on awareness. On Vakaba Kruma, please give your number so we can close this program. All right. Please come here. The dynamic of my number, mm -hmm. one at a time, is zero triple seven. Zero triple seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Zero seven. Zero seven. Slash. No, let me repeat again. Zero triple seven. Zero triple seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Zero seven. Zero seven. Slash. 0886 
I don't want to be part of this operation. You can call on Mufakaba Kruman. He's going to help. He's going to help. My duty is to carry on awareness to inform our people about our situation in Nima County. I'm about to close the program. A few minutes from now, I'll be traveling in Baba. To get more details how our people are living in these areas. Honorable Vakaba Kroman, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for the nice interview. Thank you. We I think we rely on you. you to come out so we can elaborate on the factual view. For the I always say on the Facebook, there's my Jawate. The only give you my son in Nima County. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Now you want to give you my son. Your homo server who's speaking, mother is give. And my uncle, they shouldn't take this issue to be, to be an issue that uh, I'm saying something against them. One, the interest of our all of our depends on the unity of our people that the one I'm speaking upon for. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me and Mark Javate is the only Gio Mosson in the Republic of Mama Labrio. I'm on my way to Baba Kenfo to meet our people. Assalamu alaikum.